Well, without a statewide mask mandate, some cities and counties across northeast Wisconsin are putting their own into effect. NBC 26's Ben Boken looks at local mandates in Oshkosh and De Pere, for example. For the first time in many months, the state of Wisconsin and its residents are no longer under a mask mandate. Now that decision falls to the local level. Our city council is our legislative body, and they've made loud and clear that they would like this. So after the state order was repealed, Oshkosh city manager Mark Roloff said the city immediately activated community-wide face covering ordinances. De Pere and the Oneida Nation did the same. We've seen a little uptick in numbers in our general area in uh, recent days. So I think that's why we want to keep doing the asking people to continue to wear their masks. Elsewhere, Green Bay's mask mandate ended Wednesday, but Alder Lynn Gerlock tells us the city council will hold an emergency meeting to address an extension Thursday. Out of County will enforce an ordinance April 1st. Health leaders we talk to support the idea. Regardless of whether there's a mandate locally, state, nationally, whatever would happen, uh, it doesn't matter. My message is the same. We know that masking works. The local ordinances are not permanent, and an Oshkosh roll-off says the penalty can be compared to jaywalking. We let the public say, that's not a standard you want to follow. Why? Because it's dangerous, and if you don't, if you jaywalk, you could get yourself in a dangerous situation. While Roloff says he understands any frustration, he believes the mandates will help the region contain COVID-19. I can't force everybody to do these things, but I think we can at least educate them on if we get these things done, we're going to get ourselves back to normal. In Oshkosh, Ben Boken, NBC 26.